Alright, so let's cut right to the chase. This is a tutorial on how to record Elsword in not garbage quality, since a lot of people struggle with that. So we're going to be using OBS Studio, also known as OBS Multiplatform, for this. I've already got it pinned to my taskbar, but if you don't have it installed, then there is a link in the description below. And we're going to go ahead and run this as administrator. Go ahead and agree to the license, and it will pop up a window with a blank preview, one scene, zero sources, and a mixer. Now what we're going to do first is go to File, Settings, and get our recording settings set up for high quality. So first off, we're going to go to Video. Now, for base canvas resolution, you're going to want to set the resolution that you play Elsword at. You can check this in your um, graphics options if you're not sure. For me, that's 1920 by 1080. You're also going to want to set your output scaled resolution to the same thing for now. So hit the drop down and just top option. Now here you can also set your frames per second, 30 or 60 are the most common values. We're going to leave it at 30 for now, just for simplicity's sake. So next we're going to go to Output. Now we're going to go to Output Mode Advanced, because we're some advanced motherfuckers, I guess. And this is a lot of stuff, but I'll try to go through it one at a time. Bitrate, the default 2500 is fine. Use custom buffer size should be checked, and in the field that appears, buffer size should be set to zero. Keyframe interval is fine. Use CBR should be unchecked, and in the CRF field that appears, you should set this to 15 to start. The CPU usage preset is by default on very fast, we're going to poke that over to super fast, and everything else on this tab should be fine. Now to the recording tab, we're going to make sure that our recording format is MP4, and in the audio tab, we're going to make sure that all of our audio bit rates are however high you want. 160 is solid, but if you're an audiophile, you may want something higher. Now keep in mind, OBS is a program primarily meant for streaming, so if you're going to stream with this program, then you need to make sure to set your settings back to the settings recommended by your streaming provider. These are really bad settings for streaming. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply here, and then OK to close that dialog. Now our next step is getting Elsword on the screen. So we're going to open Elsword here. One thing that you have to keep in mind when recording Elsword is that the game is actually slightly different based on what region you're playing in. In particular, North America is the only region that can record while full screen. So any of the GameForge servers, uh, BR, PH, any of the other servers, you will need to play windowed for this to work. NA is the only region that can use game capture to record, which is the only method that actually supports a full screen game. Everyone else is kind of boned. Thanks, KOG. So we're gonna log in here. All right, so once you have the game open, you're gonna wanna verify first, if you go to Options Graphics, that your resolution is set to the same thing that you set for your resolution in OBS settings. Your game and recording should be at the same resolution to avoid stretching, aspect ratio issues, blurring, and general shenanigans. Now what you should do here depends on which server you're on. If you're on NA, then at this point, you can create a game capture. So you'll be right-clicking in the Sources area, Add Game Capture. Go ahead and hit OK. Uncheck Capture Any Full Screen Application, because we want to pick Elsword specifically. Then uncheck Capture Cursor, and check Use Anti-Cheat Compatibility Hook. We use this to get around GameGuard. Now when you click this, the game should show up after a short delay. And that is all you need to do to capture here. Now, if you wanted to capture on a different server, then you'll need to use a window capture. So you'll add that with the same thing. Window capture, OK. Then uncheck capture cursor and make sure that the Elsword window is selected in this drop down here. Now, at this point, your strategy differs based on whether you're playing full screen or not. So if you're on NA and you usually play full screen, then you can ignore this next part. But if you're playing windowed, then you'll notice that at this point, there's kind of a black area here where your game doesn't fully match up with the um, recording. Now, we can solve this by stretching, but it will look really bad. So we're going to instead attack the root of the problem. Now, I can't record this because of the limitations between desktop and game recording, so you'll have to take my word on it. But basically, the reason that extra space appears is because in windowed mode, Elsword incorrectly calculates the window size and shows you the wrong resolution as a result. The resolution displayed in the menu is actually not the resolution that the game is being rendered at. In order to fix this, we have to use a weird workaround. Starting from windowed mode, you should hit Alt plus Enter to enter full screen. From full screen, you'll need to change your resolution to anything, as long as it's not the resolution you want. Then, change your resolution back to the resolution you'd actually like to record at. 
Then, leave full screen using Alt Enter again. When you come out of full screen, your game will be the right size and hopefully with no black bars. And one more time, you only need to do this if you play in windowed mode. If you play in full screen, then you have no problems. So once your game is set up correctly and your preview is filling the available space, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to make sure your audio is set up correctly. Now, OBS automatically detected my microphone, but if for some reason you don't want to use it, if for instance you're recording an arena video without commentary, then you just click this to mute it. So all you need to do now is hit the start recording button, and we're going to jump around a little bit to make sure it comes out. Hanging out in the guild base. And whenever you're done recording, you can hit stop. Now, your recordings will by default show up in uh, your user folder under my videos. And we can just pop this open, and there we go. We have a perfectly serviceable video recording here. Now, in theory, this is all you need to do. However, if you have a weak PC, or if something is weird about your setup, then your video may lag or stutter a little bit, depending on how you set it. In that case, there are a couple things you can do to try and mitigate the problem. The easiest one is to go to Settings Output and make sure your CPU usage preset is set to Ultra Fast instead of Super Fast. This will produce way larger files, but it will be less intense on your CPU, which hopefully means less stuttering. You can also set a scaled resolution. For instance, if you play at 1080p like me, you can scale your resolution down to record at 720p, which is, again, a lot less demanding. Those are the primary two ways of getting around this, but you also have the option of changing your CRF, Higher values, for instance 20, would mean that you're under a little bit less stress. And if all worst comes to worst, you can always record at a lower frame rate. 20 is tough to watch, but still probably better than an inconsistent 30. Beyond those, there's not really a lot you can do, and I'd suggest you upgrade your computer. But if everything went according to plan, then you should now have a perfectly serviceable l recording setup. Congratulations, and go make some cool stuff. Tyrone out.